crystal clear. This is a uh, this is a PC program that acts as a control surface to replace a physical control surface in a radio environment. It's a full function radio console, uh, essentially on a on a big screen uh, tablet type computer. This is an all-in-one PC. It's generic. It's uh, you know this particular one is Lenovo. Uh, you can use an HP. It doesn't really matter. The software. Uh, is expecting some kind of a touch screen computer. And this particular one will do, uh, will do five simultaneous touches. So you could actually move multiple, multiple faders at the same time with a touch screen like this. We, we looked at the, uh, the emergence of touch screen uh, computers as an opportunity to maybe change the way we build interfaces in the radio console. So Crystal Clear is maybe the first of several different ideas that we've got for how to approach radio in a, in a new way. And a lot of customers are very excited about this. So let's take a look at some of the features here. It looks familiar. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got fader channels and faders. Uh, in this particular case, we've got sources that we've configured, microphones. Uh, we've got uh, network audio inputs. We've got telephones. And we've got uh, codecs. And all of these are available to the user all at the same time to make a radio show. We have a monitor section, so this is going to control our loudspeakers. We have headphones. Uh, we can talk to our studio guests, for example. Maybe we have people in the other room in front of microphones. They've got headphones on. I can talk to them. Essentially, it's a full function radio control surface that is controlling our crystal engine and making all of the mixes in the DSP. Let's take a look at some of the deeper features. If we go underneath a fader channel, for example, it brings up a block diagram to show us what that fader channel is doing behind the scenes. We have output assignments like program one, program two, and a record bus. And then we have a couple of interesting functions. One of them is called auto gain. And, and this is something that's new and it's unique to Lavo. If we push this button, we can now speak into a microphone. And as we speak, the microphone gain will be adjusted and it will automatically be leveled to the appropriate level for this particular show. We can do that for the host, we can do it for guests. It's not uncommon for a guest to be a little mic shy at the beginning of a show. So even in the midst of a show, we could open this up and we could push it and we could adjust it for the more exuberant guest who becomes more confident during the course of the show. Auto mix is another feature that's unique to Lavo consoles. Auto mix, if we select it here, this channel now becomes part of a group that can automatically set levels depending on what it is that we wish to do. Now this might be useful for, let's say we're running a talk show and we want the host to always talk down the guests. So if the host starts talking and the guests are talking at the same time, maybe we want the host to be a little bit louder and the guest to duck down during that time. Well this can all be set up during auto mix. Another application for it is setting uh, setting the audio levels automatically for a, uh, making a donut for a radio commercial. So we have a bit of music, a music bed. We start speaking over the top of it. Auto mix ducks down the music, lets me speak, calibrates all the levels, and then when I'm done speaking, it naturally brings the music back up, and I've just produced a commercial without ever having to touch a fader. So this is uh, this is a powerful new function in all of the in all of the Lavo radio consoles, including the Crystal Clear. There are behind the scenes, and we're not showing it here, but behind the scenes, if we're in admin mode, the engineer has a wealth of DSP features. He can set EQs, he can set dynamics processing, DSing. He can do all of these things in advance, and then he can lock them down so that the users just get to use the console. They never have to worry about these things. So there's no, there's no knobs to fiddle with, and no, no special settings that they have to worry about. Everything can be programmed in advance, and they just recall the show and use it. <coughs> Let's, let's bring up a scene so we can see how that works. We've got two shows programmed here. We've got a talk show and I guess what we're calling a show show. Maybe that's the NAB show show. And in this case, we can load another preset. The console becomes reconfigured instantly, depending on what the, what the, uh, what the show settings are. And in this case, we only have three faders. So you can imagine this console doing heavy lifting all day long in a very intensive radio environment. And then maybe for an overnight shift, maybe we have a, a, a college student, for example, that uh, maybe is not very sophisticated. And we just want to give him three channels. 
his microphone and the two audio playout channels. And so this, this might be the kind of show that we could configure for him. So and we can set all these presets up in advance so that at the touch of a button you bring up the show and you just use it. You just go on the air and you just use it. We have a timer, we have a clock, we can swap these so that we could have uh, the clock here and the timer over here. And when we're done playing with the console, we can put it away. And so now the console is in this dock up here. We still have the meters, we still have the clock and the timer. So we still have the ability to make sure that our, our, our show is on the air, but we can also use the PC for something else. In this case, we're showing a, an audio playout software. So you could run your radio station on this one PC. When you want to do some console, you make your console changes. And then you put it away and go back to running your radio show. So this is crystal clear. This is a visual, uh, a virtual interface, a virtual control surface for the Crystal Engine. And uh, maybe you want to see the Crystal Engine.